U.S. News on the Hour, sponsored by Staples. I'm Monica Ricks in New York. A major shakeup today on cable news. CBS's Robert Costa has more on Tucker Carlson leaving Fox News. He has been a highly rated figure for many years. And so many Republicans had believed that he carried immense political capital. And they would take cues from him from time to time about where the party's base might be leaning on a particular issue. So that guidance, that beacon politically for some of these Republicans, mm -hmm. uh, particularly in the House, will now be no longer there. CNN also fired Don Lemon today after 17 years. He was accused of creating a hostile work environment. President Biden met the Tennessee Three today at the White House and praised them for fighting for gun reform. What the Republican legislature did was shocking, it was undemocratic, and it was um, without any precedent. But you turn it around very quickly. Mr. Biden also took questions today about his possible re-election announcement. Our Ed O'Keefe asked why he'd want to run again in 2024. The president's already putting some players in place, including his campaign manager, Julie Chavez Rodriguez. She's a veteran Democratic Party operative. She's also the granddaughter of Cesar Chavez, the famed labor and civil rights leader, and has been active in Democratic Party politics for years. Most critically for her, compared to others that might have been considered for this role, she's at least been working down the hall from the president for more than a year now in a senior West Wing position. Fighting factions in Sudan have agreed to a 72-hour ceasefire. Pentagon spokesman Brigadier General Pat Ryder. U.S. Africa Command and the Department of Defense continue to work closely with State Department, which has the lead for helping American citizens wishing to depart Sudan. The U.S. Embassy has already been evacuated. Aaron Rodgers is ending his 18-year run with the Green Bay Packers. He is considered one of the all-time great quarterbacks. But now Aaron Rodgers is on his way to the New York Jets. Final details are expected to be worked out in the next few days. The Jets are giving Green Bay a series of draft picks, including a second rounder this year and a first or second round pick next year. Steve Futterman, CBS News. Comedian Richard Lewis has revealed a devastating diagnosis. I'm finished with stand-up. I'm just focusing on writing and acting. Uh, I have Parkinson's disease, but I'm under a doctor's care, and everything is cool. And I love my wife, I love my little puppy dog, and I love all of my friends and my fans. Lewis is 75 years old and says his health took a turn after wrapping a recent season of Curb Your Enthusiasm. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.